Hello, I'm Dr. Ming Wang of One Vision 3D Cataract Laser Center, Nashville, Tennessee. Um, I would like to relate to you um, some essential information, what I call vaccine facts. Because many of you out there are wondering, should I get the COVID-19 vaccine or not? So I want to uh, share with you, um, I actually got myself vaccinated uh, last Saturday. It went very well. But as all medical treatment has potential risk and complications. So how do we weight the risk versus benefit of the COVID-19 vaccine at this time? Should I get it? So please have a, a piece of paper ready and a pen because I'm going to tell you some of the key essential facts about um, COVID-19 vaccine. If you have any questions afterwards, my email address is drwang at wangvisioninstitute.com, which is drwang at wangvisioninstitute.com. And uh, my website is www.drmingwang.com, which is drmingwang.com. So are you ready? Here we go. Here are the essential facts about COVID-19 vaccine. Should I get it or not? First, it's, the vaccine is not a piece of virus as a traditionally the case. It's a new type of vaccine. It's a piece of mRNA. So what is mRNA? The, the virus makes its virus itself, viral code is the protein from mRNA. So it's the genetic material of the virus. This is not a piece of virus. Because the vaccine is not a piece of virus at all, it has minimal risk of infection. That is why we need the coolers, because mRNA vaccine is a new type of vaccine that requires cold temperature. That's why traditional uh, flu shot does not need to be in cold. So this first point is, it's not a piece of virus, as traditional vaccines are, but is a just mRNA, the genetic material of virus. So the risk of getting infected with COVID-19 with vaccination is extremely small. Second, millions have been vaccinated with no reported infections. Number three, uh, the allergies. Only few allergies have been reported and from millions that are already been vaccinated. So it seems that these allergies mainly come from patients who have had previous history of allergies to medications, such as the preservatives in medications. So if you don't have a history of allergy to medications, you don't need to worry about it. Number four, there is 95% protection. So this is better than traditional flu vaccine. Flu vaccine is about 60-70%, but COVID-19 vaccine, both the uh, Pfizer and also the um, Moderna vaccine, is 95% protection. Much better. Number five, um, no information yet about uh, whether once you get uh, vaccinated, are uh, you going to be possibly still a carrier? At the moment, there's no information about that. So we don't know when you get vaccinated, could you still be a silent carrier to the virus? Number six, there's no evidence that the vaccination will affect the fertility. No evidence. Now, in America today, 20 million have tested positive so far, 20 million. Now, since we know the ratio of asymptomatic to symptomatic is three to one, that means, ladies and gentlemen, we have 80 million Americans infected today. 
So what does that mean? That's 25% of our population. One in every four. So that means if you go out there tomorrow, have close contact within six feet with four people randomly, without knowing they're infected or not, just four random people, four people, you have nearly 100% of being in the close proximity, a proximity of an infected individual. That's how bad it is. Now, to make matter worse, the U UK strain, which is even much more infectious, is 70% more infectious, even though the death rate is not higher than the existing strain. Then you say, Dr. Wang, why uh, the mutation causes more infectiousness, but not more deadliness? That's because the virus keep on mutating, so if it's mutated to be more deadly, it's actually kill the host. So the person won't even survive to transmit to others. But if the mutation virus causes more infectiousness, that virus strain, the mutated strain, will spread, will survive and spread. The person will survive and spread. So then you say, well, okay, so the death rate is the same. No, but think about it. If more people, as many as 70% more, will be infected than the current level, which is already one in four in the United States today, that's really bad because more people in absolute numbers will be dying. It's estimated by CDC something like 450,000 to up to 500,000, which is half a million of Americans could die in the next many weeks. So, here's the thing. If 70 to 80% of us gets vaccinated, the what they call the herd immunity, H-E-R-D, is achieved. So what does that mean? That means when we get 70, 80% of the population getting uh, vaccinated, the virus will no longer spread. Then you say, Dr. Wang, why is that? That's because the speed of transmission by this virus is not infinite. It has finite speed. Given the speed of transmission by COVID-19, that basically we know, based on previous viral infection virology experience in medicine, that if 70 to 80% of us gets vaccinated, the herd immunity will be reached that means COVID-19 will no longer spread. It will be self-limiting, will no longer spread to more people because the finite, not infinitely fast speed of the COVID-19 infection. That's the reason why we have herd immunity. How long the immunity stay? Well, if you get the COVID-19, uh, evidence suggests may last for antibody may last for a few months, but evidence have suggests that if you get vaccine, your antibody seems to last longer than natural infection caused antibody. We don't know how long really because the early earliest group of people get the vaccine was many months ago. So far, about six months seems to be protective, but probably likely to be several years. So, basically, I presented, again, this is Dr. Ming Wang, and I presented um, the key vaccine facts. And uh, the bottom line with all this information is the following. The benefit significantly outweighed the risk. So, get it done as soon as it's available to you, as I have vaccinated myself last Saturday. If you have any further questions about these vaccine facts, again, I'm Dr. Ming Wang of Wang Vision Institute. My email address is drwang at wangvisioninstitute.com, D-R-W-A-N-G at wangvisioninstitute.com. Our phone number is 615 321 8881.
615-321-8881. And finally, my website is www.drmingwang.com, which is D-R-M-I-N-G-W-A-N-G.com. Finally, I want to also tell you I'm a co-founder of the Common Grant Network to study how we can overcome the polarization in America and find the common ground to move our country forward. We are so, so polarized. We are so gridlocked. But really, we have all have shared humanity out the spaceship Earth. We really have no other choice but to find a way to work together, to find the common ground. And our Common Ground Network, nonprofit organization with Dr. Rice Books, will be publishing our Common Ground Bible Studies in a few weeks. It's a four-week uh, Bible study to study the part of Scripture that has to do with Common Ground, such as blessed are the peacemakers. I do believe we as Christians and if you, even if you're not Christians, other faith, religion, or even uh, no religion, as human being, we really owe this to ourselves. We have shared humanity on the spaceship Earth. We really should overcome our polarization, find the common ground, to try to find a way to live, to live together peacefully. Best wishes you to you all. Stay safe. God bless you all. God bless America. Thank you.